Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Okay, live look outside right now. What a beautiful sky overhead. We have these popcorn type showers developing in random spots where the humidity is a little bit higher. We're seeing them pop up. A few of them have some decent cores on them, a heavy downpour, maybe even a wind gust. No severe weather out there. Certainly none expected, but we do have a couple of showers in and around the metro right now. In town, we have 85 degrees at the airport, the humidity 42%, a southeast breeze in here, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now, most of these showers have been and continue to be along or west of I-65. You can see a little bit of light rain near Shively, the Parkland neighborhood, and then just north of Fairdale. Of course, that is the Gene Snyder right there. As we kind of pull out and head a little bit farther off to the south, they're scattered about northern Hardin County in between just north and south of Hodgenville, down through Hart County, southern Greene County as well. And you can see they're most numerous again, especially west of the metro, popping up in the higher heat and humidity. They produce that heavy downpour and then they tend to fade away. It's a typical summertime pattern. They're drifting off to the west, but here's the deal. If you have outdoor plans, know for the next couple of hours, there will be that chance for one of these showers popping up. The big picture showing the quiet conditions of earlier, giving rise to those widely scattered downpours, a little bit of lightning and thunder during the heat of the afternoon. Hey, look what's happening farther off to the east and northeast. Nothing, lots of clear skies. There's a big pocket of dry air just off to the northeast of us, and that is slowly working in our direction. So as it invades the next couple, three days, the dry air will win out, and I don't think we'll be seeing any more of these spotty showers and storms, especially as we move through the upcoming weekend. For this evening, though, yeah, that chance will be with us next couple, three hours, and then once we lose the daytime heating and go from the 80s into the 70s, we'll go mainly clear, and it will be quiet not only late this evening, but through the overnight and also into tomorrow morning. We'll wake up clear, middle and upper 60s will greet you. And just like today, starting off with some sunshine, then going partly cloudy as we heat things up, kind of percolate the atmosphere, and there could be a few random spotty showers or rumbles of thunder tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise, your high temperatures warm again. First day of June featuring highs in the mid and also the upper 80s. Here's our forecast for this evening. Spotty thunder showers gradually ending, otherwise a few clouds and warm, as we'll be in the 80s, slipping into the 70s. Seven day forecast, that weather pattern will be with us again tomorrow where there could be a spotty afternoon shower or storm, your high 88. Then the dry air, I think, overcomes any rain chances. And boy, does that look warm, guys. Temperatures 90 to 92, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, really into Monday of next week as well, lows at night middle and upper 60s, and just a touch cooler by the middle of next week, Tuesday and Wednesday. Hmm. All right. Thank you, Jay. Yes.